I always feel like my setup is like tilted. It's like leaning. I don't know. You guys, I am just a hot mess. But let's talk. Oh my gosh. What in the world is happening? Like, does anybody know? Like, I feel so lost and confused. Like, I'm kind of used to staying at home because I've been like a stay-at-home mom for the last six months. But now that the entire state of California is on lockdown and you can only leave to go to like the doctor and the grocery store, I am just like, oh my goodness. So I figured today, since there's like so much to talk about, I just poked myself in the face. That's why it's all red right here. That I would just film a chit chat, get ready with me, kind of like a life update. When I originally planned to film this video, I was just going to give you guys like a life update and there was none of this craziness was happening just yet. So I was going to tell you guys just a bunch of random stuff that's been going on. But like now we have this crazy virus going around and I feel like that is just going to be like the topic of everybody's conversation at this point in time. So I'm going to be getting ready to go nowhere. <laughs> Um, hopefully I can get like at least one cute picture out of this. I don't know. And then the rest of the time I'm just going to be quarantined in my house like everybody else. So I'm just going to start getting ready. And then if I remember to mention things here and there, I will. If not, I'll just link everything that I'm using like in the description box in order so you guys can see. So I'm going to start off with primer. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. This is what it looks like. I used it in one of my full face of first impressions. I really like it. It's really nice for dry skin and it's super affordable. So anyways, how is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well for what it is, you know what I mean? Um, we've gone out a couple of times to get some groceries. We were able to find like sort of a lot of food, which I just picked the wrong time to try to do keto again because there is like no meat. Like none the only meat that we were able to find was um like the frozen hamburger patties like steak burger patties i think is what we ended up with which is fine whatever but like there's no chicken there's no hamburger there's like literally no meat anywhere in california so i picked the wrong time to try to do keto because that's pretty much all you eat but i did grab like four cartons of eggs so it's probably not going to be the healthiest keto diet that I'm going to be on, but I'm trying to shed some pounds. Like I'm trying to come out of quarantine, like a whole brand new woman. You know what I mean? So for a foundation, I'm going to be using the flower light illusion luminous makeup. I'm going to do two pumps of ivory L2 and one pump of classic tan M3, even though you guys, I don't see, it's like I'm all different kinds of shades. So I'm just going to do that. I did wear this foundation the other day and then I ended up with some pimples, but it's also that time of month, so I don't know if it was this foundation that made me break out because it never made me break out before or if it was that time of month or what's going on. So I figured I would try it again today and see if that's what happened. I don't know. So we got some food. Oh my gosh, we went to Target. Okay, so this whole time, Frank, my husband, he's been like, oh, it's not that big a deal. This was like two weeks ago. It's not that big a deal. People are just blowing it out of proportion. Like this is when all the toilet paper started like disappearing around that time and he's like people are just being hoarders and they're being crazy like it's not that big a deal da, 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 da. and I'm like listening to him you know and I'm like okay yeah maybe you're right then we went to Target <laughs> and like all the meat was gone all of it like it literally felt like we were in like a zombie apocalypse and like maybe I've just seen like way too many movies but that made it like real so we went to Target there is like so many shelves that were just completely bare like all the pasta all the noodles were completely bare all the soups were gone um like i said all the meat pretty much all the dairy all the sandwich meat literally everything all the freezer food and i'm like damn this would be the perfect time to go back to being vegan because there's plenty of that there were so many like fresh fruit and veggies and stuff granted i obviously know people probably weren't buying that because it doesn't stay good forever but this would be the perfect time to shine as a vegan because there's plenty of food um but yeah we got there and I didn't start like w I just got foundation all over my leg you guys I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time that's probably why this is the only s this is the second video I've ever done where I do a chit chat get ready with me but anyways I wasn't worried about it until we went to the store and then I saw all of that or lack thereof I guess then I was like oh my gosh so it's like I feel like the other people like other people are what what's freaking me out not the like 
the news and stuff like that. It's just when you go out in public and you see that everything is gone, like that freaks me out. That makes me, I don't know, feel some type of way about it. But anyways, so Target is a no-go to get anything. We haven't found toilet paper anywhere. We went to this place called Winco, which is like a high V if you're from the Midwest. And thankfully they had pretty much all the food that we needed minus meat, but we got enough to last for a while. So I'm happy they did limit the amount of water bottles that you could get, which is fine. I just wanted the water bottles for the baby. Like we're okay drinking like fridge water, you know? But I just want to make sure that she has like purified water and I know the fridge water is supposed to have a filter but I just want to be extra careful so as long as like we can just continue to have enough bo bottled water for her like I'm okay with that so they were limiting it and they were checking your basket like when you went to go check out they had two lines and they were looking in everybody's baskets to make sure that they didn't like take more than you were supposed to you guys like that kind of stuff freaks me out I don't know that was like so weird to me and then everybody has like full-on masks sunglasses hats gloves like I don't think there's any cases in the town that I am in here in California not that I he have heard of anyways but um I was talking to my aunt she lives in Kansas and there she works at the hospital and there was one case at the hospital that she works at and it was a K-State professor and he, she just got back from London, I think, and tested positive. So they were being quarantined at the hospital there. So that's like super close to home, like I said. But that's like the closest any case I've heard of, other than that, I haven't heard of anything. It's just crazy. And like Frank and I were Googling just like past flus, you know, like the swine flu. And I might, I may be getting my numbers wrong right here, but um, the swine flu killed like almost 600,000 people. And if I'm correct, I feel like there's only been like a thousand deaths from this flu. So I just think it's weird that all these drastic measures have been taken for this when nothing happened when that happened. So I'm just like confused about everything. And like I said, the whole state of California is on lockdown now. So where you can only go to the doctors or go to the grocery store, stuff like that. Um, so <laughs> that being said, uh, Jaden's been, he's my son. He's been bugging me for TikTok, right? And I am like, I don't want you to have any social media because I just, I honestly just don't want to deal with that. So I told him from the jump, especially when he got his cell phone, I'm like, you can't have social media. Like, I'm just, I just don't, I don't want to deal with that. So I told him that and then he kept bugging me for TikTok and bugging me and bugging me. I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer right now. So I downloaded TikTok just to see what it was. Like, I kind of had an idea, but I wasn't like for sure, for sure what it was exactly. So I downloaded it, you guys, oh my gosh. So I downloaded it when the baby was taking a nap and she ended up sleeping for like two hours, okay? And I was on TikTok for two hours. Like, I totally just lost track of time. I got on it and started scrolling. And then when she woke up, I looked at my clock and I was like, oh my God, I was just on this app for two hours. What is wrong with me? Like, I'm like embarrassed. But anyways, I didn't, I have no idea how TikTok works, okay? No idea. I just know you can like upload videos and stuff like that. I don't know about like messaging people. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And I don't know how to say this in a nice way, but there's a bunch of like people that look like they're on drugs. Like they look like crackheads. So there was a couple people on there. I was like, this isn't real. You know what I mean? Like they had like one and a half teeth. Tooth. How do you even say that? I don't even know. And I was like, what is this? So I clicked on their profile and it was real. And I was like, what the whatever you know whatever floats your boat and so then after I clicked on that wor person's profile then my whole feed was like people on drugs like I'm not even playing I'm like what is happening so Jaden told me it's like TikTok tracks what you look at the most and then that's what you see I had no idea you guys so now my entire feed is this like it's nothing but I can't even describe to you the videos because I'm just like, what is happening? So I ruined my entire feed the first couple days I got TikTok. Oh, it's such a mess. But anyways, it's definitely entertaining. So I've been watching so much TikTok. You guys, I can't even, like, I'm addicted to it. Like, I can't even. Anyway, so now the other thing that shows up on my feed is Dollar Tree. Stuff you need from the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh. So we actually went to Dollar Tree a couple days ago 
and we were looking for toilet paper even though there's no point because there, there's literally nowhere but we figured we would try so then I was like wait a minute like I have a list of some stuff I saw people saying that you needed from Dollar Tree I'm like we're already there even though the stuff that was on the list was obviously not a necessity but I really wanted to get out of the house and we had to go anyways so I picked up a couple of things that I just kept seeing all over TikTok like stuff you needed from there so I am going to do a TikTok made me buy at Dollar Tree haul here before too long. All this stuff that I thought was like really, that looked really good on TikTok, mine was like sold out, but I'm just gonna chill. I obviously don't need to go to the Dollar Tree just to get stuff that I don't need right now. So we'll see how much stuff that I have to make a video. If not, I'll just probably save it. And then when we're done being locked down, then I'll adventure out to a Dollar Tree. But there was some good stuff on that list and like, Usually when we go to the dollar store, we go to the 99 cent store, but the 99 cent store has changed where now they have stuff that's like not even a dollar. Like they trick you. Like there's stuff in there for like $3.99, $4.99, $2.99. At least at the Dollar Tree, you know everything's a dollar. So I kind of just like gave up on the Dollar Tree there for a while, but not now. Like the Dollar Tree is going to be my new favorite hotspot from now on because of TikTok. So let me know if you guys watch it and if you're addicted to it too. I took a video of the baby for TikTok. I had it up for a little bit and then I took it down. So I only had one video posted. I'll insert it so you guys can see it. And then I took it down. So I don't have any videos or anything. And I keep telling Jaden, I'm like, you know, we should do the dance ones because we have nothing else to do. So I don't know if I'm going to actually end up posting on TikTok, but I do watch like all of it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that. So anyways, that's happened. What else? So Frank works for the county. Well, kind of. He kind of has like a government-ish job. So thankfully, what he he's a supervisor. So whatever he does at work, he's able to do from home. So he's going to be able to work from home for the next eight weeks. Thank goodness. Because I, like, he gets up for the baby at night and then he goes to work the next day. And I'm so grateful for that. Because if I had to do both, oh my gosh. Like, I never thought being a stay-at-home mom because when I had Jaden I was still working 40-ish hours a week so I had that time to like get away and like kind of only worry about myself you know what I mean but now that I haven't had time to get away I'm just gonna fill in my brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow and Blonde um now that I've literally like that's my job oh, it is so tiring and I love her don't get me wrong but oh my gosh so anyway so I'm like super grateful that he's going to be able to stay home with me well, he's still going to have to work, but he'll be here. You know what I mean? So that, I just, like, can't wait. When he told me that, I literally wanted to cry. <laughs> because, like, with her, it's just... I'm so paranoid to leave her when she falls asleep. Like, I'll sit next to her. And I don't put her in the crib to take a nap. I'll sit her, like, wherever she is. Like, she has a swing. She usually takes her naps in that. I'll sit on the couch. I'll edit videos. I'll watch TV. Like, stuff like that. But I never leave the room. I don't know what it is, but I'm so paranoid to leave her. It's, like, crazy. And when I had Jaden, I would just leave him in the room to take a nap, come back in an hour or two. Or whenever he started crying, I would get up and go check on him. But with her, I'm just, like, so paranoid. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe just because I have the internet now and people scare me. But, like, with Jaden, I was 19. And I was just like, eh. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, with him, I mean, he obviously is fine. He made it to 14. But... It's just crazy how I feel like I'm just like way overprotective with this baby this time around. It's just weird. So anyway, so yeah, I am I usually wait to take a shower and stuff until either Jaden gets home from school or Frank gets home from work. So it'll be nice that I can like go to the bathroom and like take my time or if I want to take a shower during the day, I can and like Frank will be here to help me just messed up my whole eyebrow dang it anyways and then Jaden he was supposed to go back to school he's been out for we're going on his second week right now and he was only supposed to be out for a week and he was supposed to go back to school today and then they decided that he's going to be out until April 16th which I'm assuming at this point he's just not going to go back to school for the rest of the year which sucks because he's in eighth grade and they're going to do like their eighth grade promotion before they go to high school and blah 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 and he's not going to be able to do that so, I mean, but I feel bad for the seniors because you go to school your whole life to graduate and then here comes your senior year and you can't even have your senior prom or walk across the stage and graduate. Like, you spend your whole life going to school and then you can't even graduate. So I feel so bad for them. So he's going to be out for now until the 16th. In Kansas, though, 
they're out the rest of the year. Like, they're done. I think they're going to be doing some kind of online classes in Kansas. Um, Frank has a little sister that lives in Kansas, and then I have friends, obviously, that still live in Kansas because I'm from there, so I see their posts on Facebook. But as far as I know, they're still going to do some kind of online schooling for them till the end of the school year, but they will not step foot into a school at all. So they get, like, a five-month summer. Like, why couldn't stuff like this happen when I was in school, you know? Like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of that. Like, I would have loved to have stayed home and did online school. Like, oh my gosh. Anyways, so with Jaden right now, I don't know if they're going to change his school. Like, I feel like public schools here in California are like <laughs> way, my eyebrows look so damn bad, um, way different than public schools in Kansas. Like, out here, like I said, I don't know if they're going to change it, but like, we all got an email and it said that online school is optional. So if they didn't want to do like a packet that you could pick up from the school or if they didn't want to do the suggested schedule that they put on the school's website, they won't have to. And I'm just like, they should have to do something, right? Like, I don't know. I thought that was kind of like bogus because I don't want Jaden to like forget everything that he just learned. You know what I mean? So we are going to pick up the packet from school. The suggested schedule that they kind of like mocked up for the students is a joke like I can't so I think I'm just gonna see what I can find for him and maybe print off some sheets or like get on some kind of school website and see what I can find for him to do at home because like his school right now is just like a joke so I can't do that and I don't want him to forget everything that he learned this year because he starts high school next year, you know, like he, I don't know, maybe everybody's going to take that in con into consideration when he goes to school next year. I don't know, you guys, I'm just like so baffled by everything that's going on, like I don't even know, but that's the deal with Jaden. So I just took some of this Chella brow concealer just to fix his brow in this one because I messed them up. I am. Frank and I were talking about it since he's going to be able to be here. So I already wanted to do like a what I eat in the day to lose baby weight. I lost 15 pounds in about six weeks from doing like, I wouldn't say full on keto, but more so keto slash low carb because I was eating more carbs than you're supposed to on a keto diet. So I'm going to say it was like low carb. We'll just say that. And I lost 15 pounds in six weeks, which when I was losing it, I was weighing myself every day, which is like a big no-no. And I was getting super frustrated. But then at the end of six weeks, I'm like, wow, I lost 15 pounds. And that made me feel better about it. So I was going to film a what I eat in a day. Then my friend April came out here and I ate whatever I wanted the whole week she was here. If you guys saw my vlog, we went to Disney, went to Malibu. We just like ran amok while she was here. And I didn't do the diet because I just wanted to enjoy it and I didn't want to have to like worry about like what I was going to eat here or there. You know what I mean? Because I feel like when I do like keto, I have to like pre-plan stuff and I didn't want to worry about that. I'm using the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. And so I kind of fell off and then she was here for a week and then she left. And then I got back on keto for a whole entire week after she left and then I fell off again. So, so far I only gained back like three pounds, which isn't horrible I wanted okay if I tell you guys how much weight I want to lose I want to lose 40 pounds right now I've already lost 15 pounds of that so I still want to lose wait hold on I think my goal weight was 40 pounds let me think for a second and now I still need to lose 25 I think I think that sounds about right so I know that sounds really extreme but I want to weigh what I weighed when I first moved to California but I want to do it like in a healthier way because when I first moved here, I was the skinniest I've ever been, but I also was not very healthy about it. So I want to try to figure out a way to get back down to that weight, but healthier, if that makes sense. So I was thinking Frank and I were going to do like a quarantine, get fit with me type thing. So we were going to start that tomorrow, which is Monday. And I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start Monday and I'm going to vlog all of it. So I'm going to do a vlog of him and I together. So like a combined one. And I think that's what my plan is. I don't really know. We're going to see how it goes. But tomorrow I'm going to start a vlog and I'm going to vlog the entire quarantine time. So we're technically not supposed to leave the house till April 16th. I think that's what the governor said. So I'm going to start tomorrow and go all the way to the 16th and see how fit I can get between tomorrow and the 16th, which I think will give me like 26. Six, 27 days so I'm gonna 
do keto slash low carb for the first two weeks because I need to like shrink my stomach back because I know if I try to do keto and then work out, I'm going to be so hungry and just like tired, you know, because I'm not going to have enough energy until my body gets used to it again. So I think I'm going to do two weeks keto after the two weeks is up. Then I'm going to continue to do keto the whole time, keto low carb. And then I'm going to start working out after two weeks. And I'm just going to do the exact workout that I did before I moved here when to me, I felt super, I looked the most toned I've ever in my entire life. And I really liked how I looked. I had abs, but they weren't like shredded. You know what I mean? But I still had abs. I had nice arms, like nice legs. And I did all of that at home. Minus I did do like around when I lived in Kansas, around my aunt's house is like a three mile thing. Like that goes in like a square. So it's lots of like incline so I'd always run the first mile walk the second and then run the third mile but it was all like this so I feel like I just burned so many calories and I think that's why my legs look so nice too because of the inclines that are around her house but unfortunately I don't have that here so I think I'm going to try to put our treadmill up on an incline and do it that way so I'm just going to see how much I can well I'm forced to do all my workouts at home because all the gyms are closed and I wouldn't go to the gym anyways because I hate it but I'm going to do everything that I did when I lived in Kansas before I moved here when I was nice and toned and I'm going to vlog all of that so I'm going to be sharing my whole like fitness journey with you guys I wish like I think I have a couple of pictures of me um from what I look like when I started at the weight that I started and then where I'm down now about 15 pounds 13 pounds ish um and then all of that so when I get done you guys I feel like I'm just rambling and none of this is making sense so we'll see so I'm gonna start off on Monday tomorrow and I'm gonna do like a whole video of what my body looks like a whole 360 I'm gonna take my measurements I'm gonna weigh myself I'm gonna do all of that and then do like a weekly check-in for that so every Monday I'm gonna take my measurements weigh myself do a whole 360 on video maybe a couple pictures so that way I can just show you guys and then at the end of it then I'll post the vlog so you guys can see and then I'll probably do it for 30 days and then after 30 days I'll post the whole four weeks and then I'll show the transformation for the four weeks and then after that if you guys are interested or you're liking it then I'll post weekly vlogs of my workouts what I'm eating stuff like that because I just want to get like a head start to see if there's like a transformation worth posting you know what I mean and then we'll do like weekly ones um, I obviously am no fitness guru or anything like that, but I did get myself into pretty good shape before I moved here. So I am just going to go back to that. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder. So I planned on doing that. What else? I bought some stuff off of Amazon. So I plan on doing like an updated Amazon haul. I found this super cute planner that I think a lot of you would like too. And it, I think it was like $10. So I've been writing in that and like every day and like making lists of videos that I want to do. So that way now I can take full advantage of Frank being here and I can pretty much film every day since he'll be here. So I am going to do that. And let's see. So I have a whole list I think I have all the way to like the middle of April of videos planned to do like every day. So I'm going to try my hardest to do that. I'm obviously leaving room for some days. Maybe I just don't want to or like I need to take care of the baby and like Frank needs a break. You know what I mean? But I do have like a whole list of videos planned out to film. And then I know a lot of you have left video suggestions in my comments over the last like month or two. So I definitely wrote all those down. So keep a lookout for those because I tried to write every single one down to do for you guys that you guys have asked me to do. What else? So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm going to set my face now with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. I love this powder. If you guys haven't tried it, oh my gosh, it is so good. I wanted to tell you guys before all the craziness. So let's talk about my um, vlog when my friend April was here. So I know I posted a vlog, but I didn't really like talk about things. I guess I just showed you guys what we were doing. So when she first got here, I picked her up from the airport and we went to the Beverly Center, which is like the Beverly Hills Mall. And I've only been there like maybe three times. And like, honestly, I don't really like it, but she's never been. So we went and yeah, it's just not my like cup of tea. Like, I don't really like it. I like the um, Westfield, I think is what they're called. Like, I like those better. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so I took her there. And then we went and we ate at this like little fancy place. You guys, I paid seriously like $27 for two eggs, four pieces of bread and a little tiny side salad. Like I can't deal. Like I can't. <laughs> 
Like, that to me is just crazy. But anyway, so we went there, and it was good, but, like, it wasn't worth $30, let me tell you. But anyways, so we went there, and then after we left, we went to the... It called I forgot to I need to come contour my nose real quick I'm using this color pop sculpting stick that they don't even make anymore but I still have it so I like to use it we went to the Melrose trading post I was gonna do my lips but I don't feel like doing it today and it's a it's a flea market but it kind of okay it's massive like I definitely suggest going at least one time like I probably won't go back but it was fun to go just like the one time but to me it kind of looks like the sellers like they have like their own like tents like their whole setups to me it looks like they just went to goodwill bought stuff for really cheap brought it to this place and then jacked the price up like they had like a i think it was a motley crew t-shirt that looks like you could get off of ebay for like 20 bucks they had over 140 dollars and i was just like yeah no um but i did think it was fun like they have some food trucks there some little like um drink places so i would go back for like the food but i wouldn't go back to necessarily shop they did have some like little flower set up like little flower stands where you could buy plants and stuff which i thought was cool but it's just not something that i would go to again unless we had friends or family out here that wanted to see then i would but i wouldn't go by myself again but anyways um i think it costs five dollars to get in Parking's free if you can get in. And it's literally right next to Fairfax High School. I think it might even be like on the school grounds. I'm not really sure. I've never really been in that area, but it's right on Melrose Avenue, which is another place I've always wanted to be go. So we went there and then we found the pink wall. And if you watch that vlog, I tried to put the address in for all the photo walls that you guys always see with like the wings that people take pictures with and the pink wall and stuff. I did put all the addresses in that vlog. If you're here or if you're traveling here and you want to go to those walls, make sure to watch that vlog. I'll link it in the description box. And then, um, yeah, you can go to all the locations that I went to. So anyways, so we did that. We took some pictures with that. And then when we were walking down Melrose, cause we just wanted to like explore, we found this store and I included it too. And it was like a warehouse outlet like a warehouse outlet so they had these two brands in there that i personally never heard of I, I thought i remember hearing about the denim brand that was in there but i never heard i've never heard of the other brand that was there but anyways so you go in there in the last hour of the day i don't know if they do this every day but you get a bag and you can fill it up with as much stuff as you want and you only pay 10.95 so we did that and we were like going through this stuff and we found jean shorts in there for like 170 dollars 180 dollars i got Jaden a jacket that said the price like full price was like 240 or something crazy i know i know and um anyway so we added everything up and we spent ten dollars and 95 cents and we got thirty six hundred dollars worth of stuff i know it sounds unbelievable but it's true everything still had the tags and everything it was nuts and uh <laughs> then for each piece we only paid 47 cents that is so crazy april asked them like why everything was so cheap when the price tags were just like outrageous and they said the stuff was from their warehouse from like two or three years ago that they weren't planning on bringing back so they were just trying to they were just trying to clear all out and they also said that a lot of people come into that store buy stuff and then sell the stuff like full price online which i thought about doing but i don't know i don't feel right necessarily doing that when i know i paid less than 50 cents and then i'm going to put the jean shorts online for 150 like i just don't feel right doing that i don't know what i'm gonna do with them some of them fit and some of them don't maybe i'll save them for like birthday christmas presents i don't know we'll see but if you're here like i definitely suggest going to this store like maybe calling ahead because like i said i don't know if they do the last hour of the day thing every day or what the deal is with that stuff but it's definitely worth calling and like finding out so i was thinking the next time that we're in that area that I was going to go back there and see what I could find and then filming like a whole haul because I have enough pieces to film a haul so I might just do it anyways but we'll see. I don't know. I have all these video ideas that I still want to do. So now I'm going to go in with Hoola Light just to set my nose. I've been using this brush and it's a Morphe M461. It's really weird looking. It's like a stippling eyeshadow brush but I've been using it to set my nose contour. So I'm going to be using that today. We went to Malibu. We went to the infamous 
rock that you see everybody take pictures with. It's kind of like a cave looking thing that you can go in. It's called El Matador Beach. It only costs $9 for the entire day if you want to stay, but oh my gosh, you guys, like it is definitely like the tourist spot in Malibu, let me tell you. I love it. I like to go there, but I can't go there anymore. Like I took April cause she's never been, but like, I can't like, I like, I don't mind taking pictures of people when they ask me, but I'm not even kidding you. I think like five or six people asked me to take their picture and we were only there for three hours. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like it got so crowded to the point where we had to like move down the beach because it was just like, we couldn't relax. And I think probably the same amount of people asked April to take their pictures. It was like every time I turned around, somebody was asking me to take their picture. And like I said, a couple of people, I don't mind, but five or six, I'm just like, Ugh. so I'm never going to that beach again, even though it is beautiful. I can't go there. Like, I just can't. I refuse. So that happened. I just realized I don't have a bronzer. Let's just use this hula light to bronze with because I don't feel like getting one. So I'm going to use this. I don't know if it'll show up, so I might have to get up and get one anyways. So we did that. What else? Oh, I took her to the Mission Inn Hotel, which you guys, if you've been on my channel for a while, I take everybody there. It's in Riverside, California, and it's gorgeous. The hotel is beautiful. Like, I want to stay there for like a weekend. They have a spa there and everything. Like, there's so many photo opportunities and just the like, the detail in this hotel is just crazy. Like, I think it's pretty, I want to say it's like famous or like well known. Like, they have a bunch of paintings of presidents that have stayed there but it is just so beautiful anyway so i took her there and then across the street there's a pizza place i still have no idea what the name of it is and we've been going there for probably like three years but we took her there we get pizza and then we go to casey's cupcakes which is right next to the hotel as well so i took her there took a couple of pictures of her and it's funny because every time she's here or we're around each other, I always see like photo opportunities. Like I just always see it. Like every time I'm out, it, I don't even do it on purpose. I'm like, oh, that'd be like a really nice outfit of the day picture. Or, oh, that's really pretty. So I'll be like, April, go stand over. Let me take your picture. She's like, no, I don't want any. Like, I don't like how we look. I'm like, go stand there. And every time this happens and then I'll take the pictures, I'll them, send it to her. And she's like, oh my gosh. I'm like, see, you should listen to me. Like you should listen to me all the time. So anyway, so I took some pictures of her so she could have to post. So we did that. Um, then we just kind of like stayed at my house with the baby for a couple of days. We, we did go to Disney, I would say it wrong, California Adventure. And the very first time I went to California Adventure, oh, I'm using this LA Girl blush in the shade just because it's just like a gray contour shade. Um, the first time I went there was a couple years ago with my aunt. I'm like, oh, I love this place. Like, I like it way more than I like Disney. But then when I went this time with April, I was like, ooh. I didn't like it that much this time so I thought that was kind of weird so I definitely think I prefer Disney over California Adventure but it was still fun I just I like Disney more I think <gasps> oh <laughs> we went to Beetle House I know you guys are probably like what the hell is that so we went to this place called Beetle House I googled the weirdest places to go in LA and that popped up and it's Tim Burton inspired and it said it was kid friendly it is not do not bring your kids there oh my gosh even when you call the number even the recording says that it's kid friendly it is not kid friendly let me say that again it is not kid friendly so we went there and it was frank Jaden, the baby me and april and we're like oh let's eat dinner and then we'll go over to the bar because there's like a little restaurant place and then it connects to a bar <sighs> So we got there and I'm looking at the outside and I'm like, this does not look kid friendly. Like it's completely black and it's dark. Like you can't see in it. And I was like, mm. so I looked at Frank and I was like, do you guys want to split? Like, do you want to take the kids and me and April will go in here. We'll get a couple of drinks. You guys get dinner and then we'll meet back up. Thank goodness we did that. Oh my gosh. Like I think Jaden would have had nightmares. The baby would have been like, Bleh. you know, like, oh my gosh. So anyways, to get in, you walk up a stairwell, you come in, and then they say two lost souls or however many people are in your party. So you go in and if you've seen Stranger Things, like um, the mom when she's holding the lights trying to get Will to like communicate with her. So you go into this room, this lady's, this actress is standing there, she has lights and she's like, you guys, my son's here, like da 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 da, and there's like a bookcase. So then you have to like ask Will to come or something like that. I don't know, it's really weird. So anyway, so you get his attention, all the lights light up, and then she opens up the bookcase and you walk into the bar which I thought was cool so there it's literally Halloween like 24 7 they had like really creepy people like dressed up in like all different costumes let me grab um 
a blush and a highlight. I'm just going to use this Physician's Formula times Casey Holmes and I'm just going to use the um, highlight and the blush that's in here. So anyways, so it was fun. I don't think it's a place for everybody, but I definitely think it's worth checking out at least once because it's like totally different. But yeah, it was, it was weird. So anyways, so we got two drinks. Each drink's like $15, I know. But let me tell you, maybe because I haven't drank in a while, you know, because I was pregnant, and then like Frank and I don't really, like we don't keep alcohol in the house, and when we do drink, it's only when we go to Vegas or when we go back home to Kansas. But other than that, like we don't, like I said, we don't keep alcohol in the house or anything. So it's been a, it's been a minute since I've had something to drink. And I got the first drink, and I think it was called the Beetlejuice drink or something. And I'm taking a drink, I'm like, wow, this tastes like tequila. Like, it was really strong. And then, like, halfway through the drink, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm kind of tipsy. And I don't know if it's because the drink was so strong or it's because I just haven't drank in a while. I think it's because the drink was really strong. And, um, so anyways, we got one, and then April bought the second round. I bought the first round, she bought the second round. And then, like, seriously... I was almost done with my second drink and I'm standing at the bar and I see something run past me like real fast and I was like what the I was like am I am I tripping like am I drunk like what is happening because the place is weird already you know so I like I turn real quick and I see a Chucky and I'm like what the and seriously the the person hit me like at my kneecap like no joke and so they came like running past me and I saw it and I was like you know, I'm like, man, I'm drunk, you know, and then I turned in, I see April, and she's like, it's Chucky, and I was like, what the, so Chucky's there, well, she took a picture with him, and then I took a picture with him, I'll show you anyway, so I'm trying to, like, literally hold my shit together, because I'm, like, intoxicated, and then my brother, I have a twin brother, if you guys didn't know, growing up, he was, like, seriously deathly afraid of Chucky and I just kept like thinking to myself oh my gosh he would seriously shit himself if he saw this tiny Chucky you know and so the picture that I took with Chucky you could see like in my face like my smiles like because I'm trying to hold my shit together you know and yeah that was crazy it was funny but it was just crazy so that happened and then we meet back up with Frank and the kids and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like embarrassed that I'm drunk because that was not the plan and I didn't want Frank to get mad at me because I really was not, that was not my intention. And so I was like trying to hold it together because I didn't want him to be like, bah, 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 bah. so we got in the car and I'm like, let's get food before we go back or whatever because it's like an hour away from my house. And so I'm like, April, let's go to Popeye's or whatever. Because we wanted to get, like, the chicken sandwich that everybody always talks about. So we go there, and we go inside, and then April starts telling everybody in there that it's my birthday. And it's not, obviously. So she got everybody at Popeye's to sing me happy birthday. Even the people that were waiting for their food were singing me happy birthday, just like the movies. I wish more than anything I would have brought in my camera and recorded it because it was so funny and so cool at the same time. So anyway, she had to go to the bathroom, but the bathroom in Popeye's was closed. So there was a CVS next door that you could go use. So we went over to CVS. She went to the bathroom. We were leaving and somebody from Popeye's came over and bought me a cake. Like they have like a red velvet cake at Popeye's now and they bought it for me and they brought it to me for my birthday and it wasn't even my birthday. Like, like, it was so funny and cool at the same time. I'm just going to run a little bit of this no filter shade in this palette on my lid and in my crease. Frank and I made plans to go to Vegas for his birthday in April. I found a really good deal at the Cosmo, like an unbelievably good deal. I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to go. So I booked it and I booked it just with a deposit and then you pay the rest of the hotel. But now with the virus going around, they canceled it, which is fine. But I'm like, man, I wish they would still honor the price for like at a later date, but they won't, they wouldn't do that. Um, but we planned on going for his birthday on August, August, April 12th through the 14th. His birthday's on April 13th, but now we're not doing that because everything is shut down. So I'm going to try to figure out something cool to do at home since we're going to be stuck here. I have an idea but I don't know, I don't think he watches my videos, but I'm not sure, so I don't want to, like, spoil it. But after, I'll tell you guys what we did. So I was telling Frank, I was like, man, I wish this whole quarantine thing would have happened, 
like in the summertime when we could at least have the pool and that would give us something to do, you know? Cause like I am not a homebody and I've been forced to be a homebody since I've had the baby. And oh my gosh, I'm going insane. And now that like you really can't leave your house, I'm just like, oh. to go outside and get in the pool would just be like amazing. But the weather is like so bad too, which is like making it even worse. It's cold and rainy and ugh, yeah. I was actually thinking about maybe doing a live on here if you guys were interested and then we can talk like back and forth. You guys could talk to me in the comments and then obviously I could talk to you through the camera. So let me know if you guys want me to do that since we're all home. We can just have like a conversation. We can talk about makeup. We can talk about family. We can talk about like literally anything. If you guys are interested, let me know what you think and then we can figure out a time and a date to do that. I'm just running a little bit of this red on my lower lash line. But I hope all of you guys are doing well. I hope you guys were able to get some food. We're down to two rolls of toilet paper. So I'm kind of like stressing out a little, bit, a little bit about that. But we do have like the wipes. Thank goodness I got like a whole thing of those before all of this. Or I would really be like freaking out right now. I wish people didn't hoard the toilet paper like that to me is just like when I think of like I'm gonna be locked in for a long time I'm thinking I need to buy a bunch of food not toilet paper so I don't know who started that but why I pulled that down way too low anyways I also found this uh, you guys I know TikTok is taking more life but I also found this I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer that's in this it's called deep bronzer and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line um I found this coffee recipe that kept like showing up on the feed and it looked so interesting so we tried it yesterday and oh my gosh i'm obsessed it seriously makes me feel so bougie and it's not even like that big a deal so you take two tablespoons of instant coffee two tablespoons of sugar and then two tablespoons of hot water and you mix it together so we tried to mix it by hand it took like 20 minutes anyways to where it looks like cool whip the coffee looks like cool if it's crazy I know so anyways um I ordered like one of those milk frother things and I'm gonna use that for this coffee so you whip it together and then you get a cup of ice and you put any kind of milk you can do creamer you can do almond milk you can do regular milk whatever I used almond milk so you do ice you fill it up with almond milk and then you put the instant coffee mix fluffy stuff that I was just telling you guys about on top and it is so good and it tastes expensive and it's so cheap like we got the instant coffee from the dollar store so yeah that is so cool i definitely want to do like a um video where i show you guys how to make it because i don't know i think that would be cool i also want to do a video of this chicken and sauce stuff that i was making a bunch when i was doing keto for those six weeks so i'm gonna do like a cook with me too you guys like i can't cook so when i can find something that i'm like good at making like I am like ah, I made this you know but I am not the best cook at all so yeah when I can make something that's edible I get like really proud of myself so I want to do that and then I want to do what's the other thing oh and then I made some really good baked ziti which I've never made before and I was watching people make it on TikTok and then I just put my own little spin on it and made it and it was so good and cheap good and cheap so yeah I notice like with me when it comes to cooking if I try to follow like a recipe or directions that I always mess it up but if I wing everything it tastes so good so that's how I'm gonna like start cooking from now on I guess this is my new trick I've been doing to cut my contour I take any kind of foundation powder so right now I'm just gonna take the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin I take one of the cheap old sponges that you can get like in a pack and I coat it in the powder and then I press it and pull down and see it just like totally cleans up that bronzer contour area and then it adds a little bit of coverage because it's foundation powder but yeah I've been doing this a lot lately because I notice when I put dry powder on a damp beauty blender it makes my beauty blender split like crack and then it dries out and it, they don't last as long so I bought a pack of these cheap sponges off of Amazon for like three bucks and I've been using these and I don't have to get these wet 
so I feel like they're gonna last a lot longer and I don't have to use my good sponges so I put that there and then I take a stippling brush and then I just kind of go over it so it's not so harsh and yeah I've been really like liking that so I saw this on TikTok a lot too and I bought this when it first came out and then I kind of forgot about it but I loved it back then I don't know why I stopped using it but this is the voluminous lash paradise primer I raved about this when it first came out and like I said I forgot about it then I'm gonna apply the buxom extrovert mascara I really like this as well I want to try these two together so I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick feels weird wearing makeup I feel like I haven't worn makeup in like over a week I think it has been over a week actually. I hope mine's not drying out. <gasps> Yay! Okay. I'm so glad that I still have this because I loved it. I don't, like I said, I don't know why I stopped using it. And when I used it before, I would apply my mascara on top of this when it was still wet because that's what it says to do. And then everybody on TikTok said to let it dry all the way and then apply the mascara so I'm gonna try it that way today you guys TikTok. and then I thought it was funny too because there's some things on there that people like literally there's like a million videos about and one of them was from this brand named truly you can get it from Ulta and it was the unicorn lotion I bought it when I first saw the brand on Ulta seriously probably like a year or two ago and I still have it and I'm like what and it's like all the rave on tiktok like this whole brand like if you go to ulta.com like everything that has been mentioned on tiktok is sold out and like seriously every single thing on tiktok i already own and i'm like oh, i had this like a year or two ago and now everybody's like buying it up it's crazy the new like um uh, primer that everybody's talking about now because it was the elf poreless putty primer but now it's this makeup revolution stick primer it looks like a deodorant that you like screw up and i was gonna get it too it's like 15 bucks which seems like a little expensive for a, like a drugstore primer but everybody on that app has that so i wanted to get it but again it's sold out and you can't go to ulta right now so i was just gonna keep an eye out for it to come back in stock but i want to try that too because the elf primer didn't work for me I don't know maybe because I have dry skin and when I look for a primer or the primers that work best for me are the hydrating ones and this one's more of like a smoothing one but I still want to try it oh and I know I don't like this on my lower lash line so I'm not gonna even bother but my favorite mascara for my lower lash line at the moment is the essence lash princess mascara but in waterproof this is so good like I have like no lower lashes like none you can barely see them but I do like two or three coats of this and you can really see my lower lashes one of you guys asked me to film a makeup tutorial using my all my favorite products so I think I'm gonna do that too I wrote that in my little journal calendar planner book thing I got off of Amazon but I want to do like a makeup tutorial using all my favorite drugstore products and then a makeup tutorial using all my high-end makeup products so those are definitely on my list so keep a lookout for those because I don't know why but at this point in my life I think I like drugstore stuff better than high-end stuff I don't know so while that's drying I'm just gonna take some powder to put on under here so that way I can apply some lower lash mascara so I'm just taking the Laura Mercier stuff okay so while that's drying I'm gonna apply the Buxom mascara so I really like this mascara it's super black and it's like lengthening it doesn't really give me much volume but it does like lengthen and separate so I really like it and it's like a super wet formula and normally I like dry like drier mascaras but I don't know I just I've really been liking this but so I'm gonna take Mac Dervish lip liner so I just remember the other thing I was gonna tell you guys about so I think Frank and I are gonna film the husband tag so we're gonna answer like a bunch of questions I found a whole list of questions when I googled it at some point so I think that might be fun and then I was tagged in a beauty guru why can I say guru? I was tagged in a beauty guru questionnaire thing. So I definitely want to answer all of those. So I'm going to be doing that sometime too, but I couldn't decide if I should do like a get ready with me while I answer the questions because clearly I can't talk and get ready at the same time. <laughs> we all know this at this point, or I should just sit and talk to you guys and answer the questions. I think that might make it go by faster. And I'm going to film a how I 
overline my lips and make them look bigger without having to get lip injections, I'm definitely going to do that video too. For lips, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Rebel Rose. Haven't used this in a long time. Oh, Mac Durish lip liner in this is like the exact same color. So I'm taking the ColourPop Time Shayla. This is in the shade BFF3. I'm pretty sure I just made this lip color look identical to the Kylie lip kit in the shade Kylie. And I did not mean to do that, but like I think I just did that. So <laughs> if you want to know a dupe for that, get the ColourPop Time Shayla lip liner in the shade BFF3 and then pair it with the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in Rebel Rose and there's the Kylie shade for you. I'm totally gonna set that lip combo aside so I can remember to put that in like a dupe video. I'm just going to sweep away that under eye powder. But for my waterline I'm gonna take the NYX Faux Whites in the shade Seashell. So now I'm done with my makeup. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and listening to me chat away because I know I can I can go on forever. So let me know if you guys would like me to do some more chit chat get ready with me's. I'm definitely going to be doing some fitness videos, some questionnaire videos, more makeup tutorials, like everything like I mentioned throughout this video. So keep a lookout for those. I'm going to try to post at least five times a week. So fingers crossed that I can do that. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.